Well, I call myself an aquatic ecologist. I'm all about trying to figure out how water systems work, how they naturally function, and then how human activities have modified those functions. It was really the European settlers who forever changed the lake when they arrived. So we went from this forested landscape, trees are very good at holding sediment and nutrients in place, to this cleared grassland environment. Then we started intensive agriculture with fertilizer and larger and larger dairy herds. And then we started building lots and lots of paved roads and suburban housing developments. And all of those as well changed how the water uh, flowed into the rivers and streams. We've got lots and lots of data now on the quality of the water, the concentration of phosphorus in the water, the concentration of sediment in the water, and the biota that goes around, along with those conditions. The challenge is just to put all those things together into a giant mix master, if you will, and figure out, well, what's the real driver? A model is really a mathematical expression that tries to capture what's going on in a system. So the whole idea about a complex system model is to build the relationships between different kinds of drivers. And then to see if we can predict sort of the trajectory that the ecosystem is going on. Fundamentally, probably the most damaging thing that we've done is change the way our rivers and streams carve their way down to the lake. The process of science is really developing a question and then designing an experiment to answer the question. So we do a lot of manipulative experiments. We say, we think that this might be the cause of some problem, and then we design an experiment to test whether that is indeed the, the driver. The goal is really to provide the understanding we need to make good decisions about management. I'm really all about trying to create healthy water systems for the future. So